With the sudden population boom because of the World Cup, there are reminders everywhere to respect local laws and customs, although at the moment, not all of them are strictly enforced. More than a million fans are cheering on their teams in a country that's told the world it's welcome as long as it plays by the rules. It's been hard being a woman there, really. Chauvinism is something here. Criticizing Islam may be criminally prosecuted. Same goes for criticism of the Qatari government. Public displays of affection are frowned upon. And for same-sex couples, public or private, it can even trigger a prison sentence of up to three years. It's like if you go to someone else's house, you have to respect the rules. It's the same. I'm somewhere else. I have to be respectful. But the hosts of this party made a surprise reversal of policy just two days before the tournament's first match. No alcohol at any of the eight stadiums. Even at restaurants and patios, coffee, water and soft drinks have replaced glasses of wine and bottles of beer. Do you wish you could drink? No, it's not a big problem. I lose. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. I, I miss to drink some beer, but okay, it's okay. Yet for all the attention on Qatar's conservatism, on some aspects, and in areas filled with tourists, the Gulf state appears to have relented. So-called moderate dress for men and women wasn't in force while we were at Doha's oldest market today. And a ban on unmarried women and men cohabitating has been suspended to allow them to stay together in hotel rooms for the World Cup.